Welcome everyone, this is Abdurrahman, General Pack by Illumiax, and in this video blog, we're going to go over electrical transients in power systems. And so electrical transients can occur in power system from a variety of sources and have adverse effects. But when it comes to electrical power system, transients are that and much more. So what are electrical transients? Transients are like a sudden short-lived surge, right? Surge of energy induced in the um, power or data uh, and communication lines uh, in the utility or facility are these are things are, that are known as electrical transients right so these are sudden short-lived bursts or you know surges that that occur so the stable conditions uh, after the transients have actually died down are called uh, the steady state condition. Here is a sinusoidal waveform and this, we have the peaks here, we have the valleys there. So th these are different times of transients and this is just to give you an idea of what that might look like in a power system. The transients are not all of a good story. Uh, they might actually have a very negative uh, effects in, in the power system where it's going to may cause uh, disturbances of equipment and it may even cause failure of, of equipment. Transients can originate from, can be classified as either internal or external sources. So what does that mean? What does an internal source mean? What does an external source mean? How do we actually, you know, what, how do we work with this information? Inside the facility means that the inductive components such as transformers, motors, can generate transients in electrical power systems. It's studied and it depends on different configurations and different equipment and all, all that sort of thing. Power electronic uh, operation like you know SCRs and that sort of thing, electrostatic discharge, um, arc welding, that is a very, very common application of transient. Voltage transients occur uh, externally to the electrical system and can impact the facility operation. So what we're saying is that, uh, hey, look, you know, there's external sources. It can cause a lot of damage, much adverse effects, but not very common. But internal sources, not a lot of damage, um, common, very common in the facility itself, right? Can produce uh, transients that affect adjacent equipment as well, meaning that Hey, if one equipment is there, the second equipment is right next door. If one equipment is producing a lot of transient, it might actually affect the second equipment right next door, right? Now, there are two types of transients, right? We have the impulse transient and the oscillatory transient. An example of an impulsive transient would be lightning transient or electrostatic discharge. And it's like a, a step change, a very sudden change, uh, like a lightning strike that just occurs very suddenly. Now we're moving on to the nature of transients in power systems. Damages to the equipment can be caused by a transient in several ways, including dielectric breakdown, electrical flashover, fractures, thermal, and instantaneous peak power loads. There's some sort of a medium, a dielectric medium that's protected, that's causing flashover, right, between two separate phases. And then there's a path from one phase to the next phase. When the insulation breaks down, then you have the opposite effect, right? Now transients also produce thermal energy like we talked about, okay. Intermittent interruption is when transient event is injected into some sort of a data or a controlled network. The influence of voltage transient on electronic equipment generally falls into one of four categories. That's like your VCRs, uh, malfunctioning or you know your your clocks uh, resetting so these are intermittent interruption that occur uh, in our day-to-day -day lives now latent failures are similar to chronic degradation except that they are caused by a significant transit event that damages components but what we're saying here is that that circuit breaker that was malfunctioning it caused it became a catastrophic failure and that breaker exploded right and so you'll be able to f basically find out what happened furthermore interruption this continuous manufacturing process can result in revenue losses due to production time that that, that is a very common common thing right faulty breaker explodes obviously the equipment that it's serving is halted and uh, you just have downtime so transient or surges on the power system may originate due to switching or other causes commonly used devices for protection against lightning surges are earth screen overhead ground wires and lightning arresters right what we're saying here is that look substations millions and millions of dollars of uh, investment and if the investments fail because of 
lightning would could be very probable in a in an environment uh, that the station is located in that's a huge risk and overhead ground wire is another way um, and uh, it protects transmission lines against lightning strikes or is to use an overhead ground wire uh, for that lightning strike so if a lightning strike occurs it doesn't occur it doesn't hit the phases but it hits that um, that overhead ground wire first uh, because it's the furthest from the ground and it is um, more likely that the lightning strike will hit that first. Lightning arresters is a very very common installation uh, used for you know on the utility grid as well as uh, transformers and that sort of thing so how do we protect um, the equipment at the terminal of the equipment right so but for example you know transformers the closest piece to a transformer is like the bushing of the transformer right so these ground wires cannot protect uh, the equipment at the bushing level but maybe lightning arresters can because they're installed really close uh, in that proximity when the voltage increases the resistor decreases uh, significantly and so the lightning or the transient that's produced by lightning will arc across and then it goes to ground uh, directly so electromagnetics are a very complicated uh, concept and it is a complicated study and um, requires a lot of engineering and expertise to actually carry one out um, emtp emtp is a very common way of saying electromagnetic transient program but ATP is the actual name of the equipment, the alternative transient program, right? So let's say you have a problem, um, you found the root cause, now you're using the software to understand, well, what effect did it have on the system? So more importantly, the results of a transient stability study is used to come up with a, a good mitigation uh, scheme. Like I said before, Illumiax provides transient stability studies. Some of the mitigation schemes Illumiax has a lot of expertise, like server circuit studies and uh, surge arresters and that sort of thing. So to learn more, get in touch with us. The software uses trapezoidal rule of integration to solve differential uh, equations. So EMTP software operate in the time domain. Transient protective devices such as having a conducted a detailed study of the facility using transient analysis for reliable and safe power systems. Hello everyone, Abdurrahman here from Alumiax Engineering. To learn more and to continue sharpening your technical skills, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, General Pack by Alumiax, or visit our website at alumiax.com learn.